Hey guys, so as you can see behind me, you can kind of guess where I'm at. Can you guess? For those of you that guess Pittsburgh, you are right. So yes, I'm in Pittsburgh again. If you guys remember earlier this year, I was here and I did some filming locations. So today I thought I would take you along to this really cool place called Randy Land. But unfortunately the weather isn't quite cooperating. It just stopped raining, but it was pouring a little while ago. So we're gonna play it by ear today. We're gonna see how this weather plays out because the Randy Land is kind of outdoors. It's indoors and outdoors. So I don't wanna be holding an umbrella and recording as I think it's just gonna be too much. The other place I wanna bring you guys along with, it's indoors, it's, an, it's another museum, but it's indoors and I think you're gonna love it. So let's just see how this goes, okay? <laughs> Here we go. guys so I made it to downtown and look behind me it's Mr. Rogers okay so please don't come at me but I did not grow up with Mr. Rogers so I do not know very much about the show so in making of this video what I'm gonna do after I'm done with this museum is go home watch a couple episodes let you know as I'm editing how I feel about it and I mean, I do know, I know a little bit about him and what a great person he was. Um, I remember flipping the channel a few times and I did see, you know, a little bit here and there. I've, I've heard the intro song. Like, I don't know too, too, too much about him, but I wanna show you guys the set and I wanna see it for myself. And so I've arrived here at the Haynes, Haynes History Museum. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you guys the actual set from Mr. Rogers Neighborhood. So here's the entrance right here. Um, there's a couple different museums, but if you wanna come check out Mr. Rogers Museum, it's on it's at the History Museum, and it's on the fourth floor or something I heard, so. I don't know much. Um, I've seen a couple of videos about this place, so you guys are going to see it for the first time as I'm seeing it for the first time, so let's go check it out. So this place is really cool. So um, I got here just in time. They are about to close at 5 p.m. It is 421. She told me to take my time and take the elevator to the fourth floor, which right here you can see Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. You guys see that right there? So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Oh, there we go. Oh, there. <laughs> I'm so excited for something that I barely even know too much about, but I've seen enough videos to want to see it in person, you know? Um, so, yay! Did I hit it? Oh my God, I didn't even hit it. <laughs> All right guys, I made it inside. So there's a lot to see here, by the way. Um, looks like I may have to come, but look what's behind me, it's the tree. All right, I'm gonna show you guys everything. Um, uh, all right, I gotta take it all in. So cool. Wow. What I find very interesting and amazing is that this stuff is still intact. I mean, ooh, you can kind of see behind the tree. Let me go on the other side. Look at Mr. Rogers over there. Oh, that's so cool. Let's see, can you, how much can you see from here? Uh, can you guys see?
got here? Oh, it's his sweater. It says Fred Rogers sweater, 1985. No episode of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood would have been complete without the sweater. At the beginning of every show, Mr. Rogers singing his signature song, Won't You Be My Neighbor, would go to his closet to take out a cardigan sweater and some comfortable sneakers and put them on. At the end of the show, he reversed the ritual. Most of the sweaters, including this one, were hand-knit by his mother. Oh, that's so precious. In the first episodes, Mr. Rogers hand a button-up sweater, but he soon switched to zippers after he missed a button while filming. Oh, there it is, guys. Sorry about the glare. It'd be kind of hard to really get in there. Let me see. There we go. What does it say here? Mr. Rogers is one of his signature sweaters, 1975, courtesy of the Fred Rogers Company. Oh, I can hear his song in the background. Wow, that's so cool. Oh, it's so cool to see these things in person. And then here's the bicycle. I, I did read something about the bicycle. I think it's Mr. McNeely. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think that was his bicycle in the show. go to the other side over here. I can't believe how well this has been kept. Like, I mean, you can see a few things there that, but for the most part, this thing is very well kept. some of the puppets um, I don't remember all the names right now I believe these are the platypus something I don't know I think this is Daniel the striped Tigger again correct me if I'm wrong I don't know who this is I know there's an owl here's King Friday um, yeah that's all I can remember right now I don't know if this is also from Mr. Rogers, is this? No, this is something else over here. So as you can see, there's like a lot of other things to see. Um, you might need like a full day at this museum. There is lots. And then there's, because this is the Hanes, like, you know, the ketchup, you know, it has his name. They also have stuff about, you know, the ketchup as well. I saw it like um, on this side to the right, so. There's a few more things over here. The clothing of Fred Rogers. People use 
clothing to express themselves as to make a statement or take a stand. As someone who became closely associated with a piece of apparel, the cardigan sweater Fred Rogers understood the symbol nature of clothing. He used to communicate with children on his long running show in Mr. Rogers neighborhood. The act of taking off his suit jacket and dress shoes and putting on a sweater and tennis shoes at the beginning of each show, then reversing the process at the end, provided a predictability and security for viewers. This more casual clothing also helped him relate to children. And then it just says, a recent donation by Fred Rogers, when widow Joanne documents his use of clothing in public and private life and provides insight into Fred's roles as husband and father. Here, I think this is one of his famous quotes here. says here banana republic suit coat liz claiborne cocky pants and costume shop clothiers shirt tie and dr skull's dress shoes officer clemens jacket kids want to Pause to read that. And then it also has something over here. Sorry, my black button down shirt. Fred wore this shirt and others like it behind the scene, operating the puppet characters in the neighborhood make believe. Fred also wore sneakers because they made less noise when performing his task. Maybe yeah, I should uh, zoom in a little bit there. Here's another one here if you guys want to pause to rate that one. Uh, what do we got here? B Teller Overcoat and FMR Monogram Scarf. Rollins College Sweater. Oh yeah, that's in Florida. Which I heard that there is a statue now of Mr. Rogers at Rollins College, so I'm going to have to go check that out. Rollins College. Very cool. And I think that's it for Mr. Rogers here. Like I said, there's a ton of stuff here. If you guys want to come check it out someday. It looks like I'm going to have to come check it out. I mean, what do we got here? Lee Floral Shop. Huh. So yeah, so there's a ton of stuff here. Um, but yeah, that's it for Mr. Rogers. Um, I'm just going to take a look-see real quick over here. All right. But yeah, that's it for Mr. Rogers. It's, um, although a small display, a very nice display, and I just go over it again like this with for you guys. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. right there. Wow. 
Well, this has certainly been a treat. Thank you, Mr. Rogers. All right, let's move on, guys. So really quickly, I was telling you guys about the Heinz ketchup. So they have like an exhibit here for the Heinz ketchup stuff. Um, which I don't really have a lot of time to check out, but look at this. But I just throw that in there. Um, yeah, this, like I was saying, this museum has like five, five or six floors. I mean, there is a lot to see. So cool. All right. Let's go. And once you get out, there is a cute little gift shop here. And here's some uh, Fred Rogers stuff. Mr. Rogers talking, figuring. Oh, it talks too. Uh, how do I? How do I make it talk, y'all? Uh, <laughs> I can't figure it. <laughs> We're just gonna put that back then. Oh, it's a nice little collection of stuff here. T-shirts too. Nice shirts. Yeah. And there's some right over here too. So nice. So they give you a sticker when you walk in and it says please keep our neighborhood beautiful. Deposit your stickers here. Okay. All right, so another thing I want to show you guys on this video is some cool murals that I found through this guy named Jeremy M. Mayer. If you find him on Instagram, you can see all the murals and the address are on there. So I wanted to hunt them down and show you guys. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> So there's this artist that I looked up. His last name is Raymer, as you see it right there. He's got a ton of murals all over town. Um, there's one in particular that caught my attention. Um, I still haven't found that one. I think that's his too, that bunny. I totally missed that one, but this caught my attention first. Um, but he's got them all over town. Um, he's on Instagram if you wanna look him up. But look how awesome these are. This one's super awesome. <laughs> nice. By the way, the weather really cooperated with me. I'm still holding this huge umbrella, but <laughs> thankfully the rain stay away. Oh my God, this is so cool. This was nice. don't recognize that face so I'm not really sure if that's someone that we would know or just a random person <laughs> look at these so cool so yeah they're all over the place so I am searching for one in particular like I said so I'm gonna keep searching paintings um, oh yeah that he sells too yeah i mean they're, they're like um a, it's, it's, it's like that i think he did that yeah i think this is these are all his like his name is on this one too yeah, so there it is jeremy, jeremy m Ra raymer yeah 
This one's cool, and there's some other stuff over here. And there's a shark over here. Yeah, like I was saying, he's got murals all over the city. If you look him up on Instagram, you can see which ones and stuff. And I, he writes the address down of all of these. And that's how I found them. Um, there's another one over there in Mickey Mouse. There's one over here, which I believe it's the Joker. That's what it kind of looks like. It kind of looks like the Joker, right? There's more on this side, let me see. No, so I'm gonna go around the other way. So cool. All right, it took me a little while to find it, but this is what I wanted to show you guys. <laughs> Isn't this awesome? That is awesome. And he's got another one over here. And this is his too. Love the bench. And then he's got this one over here. So cool, but yeah, this is what I was looking for. Wow, it's great work. I feel like I need to get closer. Christmas, you filthy animal. That is awesome. Okay, there's one more that I want to walk to. Hopefully I can get to it. But yeah, that is fantastic. Look at the weather. Look at the weather. <laughs> Anyways, I found the last mural that I really want to see. This one's pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Sorry, I am like doing everything. I'm charging my phone, walking the streets of Pittsburgh, <laughs> trying not to get caught in the rain, just so I can show you guys all this. I'm telling you. Wow, that one is pretty awesome. Where's my Friday the 13th fans? Where are you at? awesome. I'm gonna put this stuff down so I can get this better. All right, that's better. So again, the artist is, what did I say his name was? Was it Ryan? Ugh, I'm terrible at this. But his last name is right there, Raymer. Jeremy, oh, it was Jeremy M. Raymer. That's what it was, Jeremy. Um, I'm gonna stand up here, get a better view. So cool. Wow, uh, just want to get like really close. Okay. I wish that car was in there. Excuse me, who's, who owns a Ram? Was that a Dodge? Can somebody please move that car? Thank you. All right, guys, so I made it back to the hotel. Um, yeah, <laughs> so that was interesting. Um, I thought for a minute there I got really lucky because after I left Mr. Rogers Museum or ex exhibit, um, it was like beautiful out, the sun was back out, and I was like, perfect. So I ran really quick to do a little something that was gonna be part of another video, and then I was gonna 
go to my last location and then it started to pour. And I'm sitting here with an umbrella, my phone, uh, my phone and trying to charge it. Like it was just, it was a mess. So I had to Uber back to the hotel and not go to the last location. But either way, I'm still glad that I went out because I was able to do Mr. Rogers and that was really, really special. And anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you guys next time.